Rocky River Nature Center is a spectacular place. Um, we host annually uh, upwards of 180,000 people, which is just an amazing number of folks that come to visit, anywhere from school programs to the general public, constantly coming in, looking at our exhibits. Uh, we're placed on a almost miraculous site where we have the Rocky River flowing right below us right now on the deck. And then just to the other side of the center, we have wetlands. We actually have some extensive wetlands. And then even beyond that, 100 foot shale cliffs that have atop them um, amazing habitat. We have all sorts of healthy woodlands. We have uh, beech and maple woodlands with some pine woods. So the trails here, there's an extensive uh, trails, five miles worth just right around the center that people can come out to enjoy. Some of the features inside, when you immediately walk in through our doors, you're greeted by an indoor tree. So not a tree house per se, but an actual tree, not live. But you can go inside and see what animals would live inside of a, of a massive tree out in the woods. So it, it really is interesting. Kids love to sit in there and play. They read storybooks for hours. Walking then around through the center, you reach our main exhibit area where we have a very high wall to simulate the, the shale cliff walls to look at all the geological specimens specialties that we have, the different layers. And then leading into that are our fishes. We have some aquariums and we also have an amazing soft shell turtle, painted turtle, and then multiple snakes that people can, can come to visit and enjoy. Dunkelosteus used to live in this area, fortunately not now, uh, because that would be the, the biggest thing in Cleveland right now, would be talking about Dunkelosteus. But it is big in Cleveland because Dunkelosteus was first found right outside of our doors here. Um, this is a, a 20 foot to about 20 to 30 foot fish um, that ate sharks with its massive, massive uh, jaws, the enormous shear-like blades that it had as teeth. It was able to take down rather large fishes um, and sharks in the, this area when this was an ancient sea. So now that we just have the river, of course, things have, have succeeded and, and we have many new species around now, but Dunkelosteus was an important piece and a remarkable piece of our history right outside of our doors. The original fossil was found in the sheer shale cliff wall. All through the winter, uh, spectacular views can be had off of the deck and on our trails. In the summertime, this place is just bustling with an unbelievable amount of activity. Our summer camps um, are alive on the trails as well here. We have a, a number of summer camps that we do, a number of public education programs. If you want to come look for salamanders, you can come look for salamanders, wildflowers, birds. Uh, if you want to come look specifically for, for certain types of trees, you can come here and ask any question that you would like because we are here to, uh, to help you with your quest to discover nature.